I think um, the first was the when the Bridgestone Africa um, b- um, bankability framework was introduced. I was say because it was that mo- I was actually looking forward to that movement because I, in my experience working in uh, project financing, I've um, well, as if, in fact, as a young lawyer, the, my first um, my first task joining back and financing was looking for um, bankability issues. There was a project finance um, transaction that came on board, and then as young lawyers, we have to. Um, to look for bankability issues. And to me, I was more like Google, they searched. They even explained to us what bankability issues were. But then we were just, it was just, that was just the basic um, bankability issues that we were looking for, just in the context of that transaction at at that time. But when I attended that, um, the Brickstone um, training, and then when I saw the Brickstone Africa bankability um, framework, and then when I attended, when I first um, listened to the recording, the required reading before attending the classes, I, I actually was looking forward to the real, um, the, tra- the live training after listening to the uh, required recording. And I, I will say that I was the first step because after after reading the required reading and even attending the um, the live um, training, um, I appreciated more um, what uh, what that concept the concept of bankability, what what it means, and how to be how it is applicable in real um, life projects. Um, yeah, I will say that first. And the second um, for me is the. Um, I think yes, which this still relates to the bankability um, framework, and that was the part, the third part of it, which is um, the ESG part, and that, that the part where um, Abbas Abadi took. I would generally okay. That would say the sustainability yes, because I have I've read I've read um, sustainability financing articles before. We've done a lot. We've written one even in my firm, but um, the practical applicability of um, sustainable principles to financing. I haven't really um, experienced that. But I mean, attending that particular training on that day actually opened my eyes to um, how those principles are applied and applicable to projects. Yeah, that, that I would say that that would be the second one um, breakthrough for me. I, lis- I listen to the required readings mo- most often than actually reading and reading through the slides so i listen to them and then for my assignments and the assignments even though i've just done the first one i need to do the rest but during the first one so you know i had mentioned that i had, um, and there's actually a, a new project um that we are doing in my firm that i'm also participating in i'm involved in and it's starting from the scratch so i have built my first assignment on that um i haven't been in a, um, having the um, i mean a start knowledge of the trans of, of the project so that's what uh, my project is all about so and then the required reading all the required readings and the trainings and then particularly because we were even given like a template even though the templates um, provided relates to port a port um project i mean so i just using um the general framework of that template and then all the required readings and the learning during the first and second um, week, um, I was able to, um, yes, I was able to come up with my assignments. And, and um, yeah, I I really dedicated my time to that assignment and because that was because I was trying to apply apply my, um, apply what I've learned um, during the training and then the practical aspect of the, of the project itself. Um, I applied both in um, attempting my, um, my assignment and I didn't want the assignment to look exactly like the project at hand because of the confidentiality um, yeah, of, of the project. So I tried to redact it um, to just fit in what is being asked to do for the assignment. Um, first of all, I would say that um, for any learning you should actually know that um, this is not just a training where you just want to come and sit down and listen. Um, it's a training that has to prepare your mind 
to um, to be dedicated to you have to be dedicated to actually maximize um, the training. Um, know that it, it will be time consuming and it's very demanding and so you must really create time for you to attend the um, to, for you to attend the training. So if you know that you have a project at hand that, that may be coming in your way of um, of the training perhaps you should um, not take the training at that time. So you really need to play your schedule to attend and maximize the training because you need you need at least eight hours of your time in um, weekly, um, yeah, attending the training. And then at least perhaps another two hours to actually prepare for the week and then eight hours for attending the training to be participate um to um to be active in class and to, to actively participate in the trainings you need to have read at least one or two hours before the trainings and then you also clear six hours of your time um, for the week to attend the training and then after the first and second week you have to prepare for your assignments and so all of these um consume time and so if you are the type that have work as well that is also demanding it can really be overwhelming so um to attend the training you really need you really need to it's not something that you just want to do to tick off the box it's something that you must really be prepared to do so to maximize yeah the learning process